Hello everyone and welcome to Infested Planet. Uh, this is the campaign screen. I have done all of the tutorial missions. This is a fun little top-down game. Um, I recently bought the Medipod upgrade so we can build that while we're in campaigns. And I think we're just going to go through uh, the story mode. I might do some of these side quests on my own, but uh, this is a fun little game that uh, that I've been playing sort of in my free time. And, uh, and honestly, it's... Uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun, and uh, and I figured that uh, maybe there should be a little bit more than just Hearts of Iron on the channel. So uh, basically, it's a top-down RTS game. You control a squad of rather powerful marines, and you can uh, allocate your resources up here. Um, these do stick around after you die um, in any way you please. Uh, so at this point, I can call in another marine because I have four BP left. Um, so rather than five, I would have six, or I can go into the weapons menu and upgrade one of these guys into a shotgunner. Um, I think I'm going to do that, and we'll just move out, start taking over more of these uh, little bases here. Now, these turrets are rather dangerous, so I'm just going to throw some uh, rockets at them, and we'll call it a day. Let's kill all of the little, little bugs. Uh, bugs don't do too much damage to you, but obviously if you let enough of them get close to you, then uh, bad things happen. Um, this is the first full-on campaign mission, so it could very easily uh, um, start throwing some new things at us. Um, we do have a very limited uh, build menu at this point. Um, in fact, we, we can only build a chopper strike building, which is fairly useful, but I mean, it's basically like calling in off-map artillery. Killing the alien buggers is what we do best. All right. So we just took that place over. Um, we need to make sure that the bugs don't recapture anything. So we do need to... Um, in this mission, it's fairly linear, but we'll need to uh, both defend our captured points from the bugs and uh, and prevent the, uh, the... Keep on, you know, attacking. So uh, we don't have enough for a turret, and we wouldn't want one right now because our advancing force can also be our defending force. Um, I think another medical pod would be a good idea, but before that, we're going to get another shotgunner. I think that would uh, serve us best. We're going to go take over this place, make sure to destroy the, uh, the turrets because they poison our marines, and that is not a good thing. Make sure to keep on advancing, take out the turret, take out the turret, and then we'll just uh, we'll wear this down. We'll let the, uh, the marines choose their own targets. They will, uh, they will focus it down eventually. And there we go. Now we just need to go stand on the darn thing. And it's ours. Wonderful. Another six uh, brings us up to a total of eight. Um, I think we want to go down south, so I'll have one of our marines build a uh, turret here. I know some of the, uh, the hotkeys. I'm not really that good at it yet. Um, this turret... It has a decent range. Um, it should be able to uh, hold its own fairly well. And uh, so we're just going to head down south here, try to not get distracted. Uh, this is basically just a, a way to, uh, to keep our front lines clear. So we only need to take on this one base rather than uh, take on the reinforcements for all of the other bases as well. Now, each time I do one of those uh, um, rockets, we do use two of our ammo. Ammo does recharge eventually. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to give us any ammo drops on this level to uh, to allow us to recharge, but uh, it shouldn't be that bad. There's that base gone. Take it over, get some more BP, and we'll call in another Marine. And this is you know, what, in my opinion, makes the game really, really interesting. The uh, It's got... Whoa. It's got some sort of roguelike elements to it. Um, they just evolved, basically, to surround all of their hives with proximity mines. So we're going to start seeing these little mines start popping up um, around the, uh, the remaining hives. We need to make sure not to move through them with our marines, otherwise they'll all, you know, die. Um, it won't be that big of a problem down here in this isolated one, but you can see we've already got a, a minefield up here to start worrying about. And it could be that when we take over this one, there'll be another... Mutation. Nope, not another mutation. Alright, so now we have nine total... Um, let's attack from up this way, actually. We have nine total uh, BP to uh, to work with. 
Let's uh, spend it on some more shotguns. Two more, actually. We'll get another marine with the uh, the capture at this point. And then we'll move this, uh, this turret up to protect all of the ones we currently have. Yeah, this is sort of what I was afraid of. Um, hopefully we can get in there and... Uh, Take him out. No, we're going to need to send a unit down. Up to the minefield. Okay. Now we can't let these units get down here to our... to our undefended points. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll recycle that one. And we'll have you build another one right here. Did Marine get back up? Yeah, he did. Okay. Alright. So now we've pushed our line up here. Um, I think it's best to take out the isolated ones first. Look at this minefield they've built. It's pretty impressive. This one turret should be more than enough to cover um, our currently taken over bases from alien attack. So we'll keep moving out. And with this one, I think, yeah, another shotgun would be the best option. Um, shotguns are good at taking out these masses of units, um, much better than normal rifles, in my opinion. Um, and it looks like our one meta bay is more than enough for the uh, damage we're taking right now. Check out the hive. Watch the mines. Take out those two. Oh, there's another one. Alright. And magic. So many mines. Hives are starting to heal themselves. All right. So now they have regeneration. Um, it's basically like every single one of these hives is now like one of our meta base. So there's going to be a lot more uh, damage coming our way. Let's get another um, another meta bay that we can carry around with us, and we have one last unit that we can turn into a shotgunner. Um, Okay, so if we head up north this way, which I think is the, our uh, best option, they could start sending their minions over in this direction, but I think we'll be able to take out this isolated hive without too much trouble. Um, and we will send a unit back if we absolutely need to, to defend anyway. They do have healing now, so the uh, turrets are going to be much more difficult to take down. Um, but if we can take them down in one hit, like with the rockets, that won't be a problem. And yeah, they've started to send units over here to our undefended base. Um, so we're going to send a shotgunner down this direction. While these units continue to clear out this base in the north, we can get some more BP and buy another marine. There we go, another marine. And we don't have enough to completely upgrade him. Um, but now we're going to sort of uh, spread out in both directions. We'll attack from the north, I think. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. We'll attack the north one first, and then work our way down south. Um, oh, that, now they have counterattack, so... When we take a point from them, they send really, really fast aliens after us. Hopefully this one lone turret will be more than enough for our... Uh, for our purposes. There we go. Take out those spawners. Units are taking some damage. It's all right. Well, I don't have any more ammo, so we need to get out of the range of those southern turrets. That's not good. Well, let's focus. Take out this one. There we go. We lost a shotgunner. He'll respawn. I wonder if we can... No, we can't tell them where to respawn, unfortunately. Uh, let's recycle you, get another marine. He spawned up here, so we'll move him down this way. Yeah, they're taking that point back. Looks like they're going to take a whole bunch of other points back as well. And let's just uh, pummel this point into the into the ground, I think. There's that counterattack. Oh my gosh, everything's falling apart! Okay, we lost this point, so they've rebuilt a hive. Let's clear out this area, and then we'll go down and focus on that. You get up here. You get a shotgun. Good stuff. You can come over here. Let's start moving you south. Move you over here. Move you 
along that direction. Oh my goodness, we just lost the entire south. What is happening? Move, move, move. Let's go. This is horrible. I'm doing so badly. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. This is great. Let's take them out before they can start building turrets right here. Move down, take this point back. Okay, we still have this point. Let's move these units down here. A few over this way. You need to come down here, take out that lone one. You come over here, prevent them from capturing that. There we go. South is clear. Come up this way. And we've taken this point back. Capture it again. And they are capturing this one still. I think it's still going easy on me because I'm not very far into the campaign. There's really no reason for us to still have this point, but uh, yeah, I think they're just going easy on us. And here's that uh, counterattack mutation. We'll just keep on moving up north. We've got all shotgunners now. Got a full team of marines. We can still get more of them. This is this is not the most marines we can have, um, but we also have no BP left, so we can't uh, expand our marine count anymore. We'll just take out this last hive. That was a poor decision on my part to attack from the north rather than from the south, and to trust only one turret to uh, to defend us. But we managed. And if you'd like to uh, stick with me for the rest of the campaign, I will be playing through it. Hopefully we won't do nearly that poorly next time. But thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all next time.